Hi everyone, welcome back. We're on to episode 15, Gunnels and In Whales, and you're watching the restoration of this 58 Flying 15, hall number 274. And we are about to get into it. We're gonna go and we're gonna dive deep and then we're gonna realize we shouldn't have done that and then we're gonna crawl back out and we're gonna do it the right way once again. So in the last episode, I made some seats. And here you can see the seat butts up against the uh, outer part of the gunnel. So we're looking here at the starboard side underneath the gunnel and you can see this old caulking. It is gross. <laughs> it's half hard and half like old chewed up gum and some parts were sticky. Uh, here you can see the rivet that attaches the gunnel through the fiberglass hull through the in whale. So I went to uh, Harbor Freight and I got these, they're called like dental tools. They're just an array of steel um, tools, uh, literally like something your dentist would use. And I started to scrape out all of this old caulking and there was so much dirt underneath. So I used a wire brush and started to clean it out. Um, and I should have realized that there was a problem, <laughs> but no, I kept going. So here on the top, uh, between the two, um, I'm going to end up uh, cleaning out most of the old glue and old uh, caulking and, and there's tiny little shards of nails that were still stuck in both pieces from the original deck. So I'm cleaning up everything and, and really paying attention to the condition of the wood. And um, yeah. I mean, even from the shot alone, you can tell things are not going to go well, <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, we're going to figure it out together. Now I ended up using a Dremel uh, because there was so much dry rot, specifically around all of the rivets um, that kind of sandwich the pieces together. And it's just like old dry clay powder in there. I mean, it's literally holding nothing on. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's being held together with uh, dirt and spider webs. Um, uh, here underneath, see this uh, lip or uh, ridge uh, shelf? We're going to talk about that quite a bit uh, in this video. And it didn't occur to me how bad condition those were. You'll see. It's pretty bad, but the here the dry rot is a really big problem, and I didn't necessarily want to pull all of the old uh, gunnels off. I want to keep as much of the boat intact uh, as possible, and uh, you know, using using uh, Bondo is not such a bad solution. Uh, so I ended up um, making up a about 20 batches. <laughs> that should have been a red flag in itself. But I ended up uh, mixing up these batches and filling all of these holes. Now, you know, I've done a lot of body work in, in my past. Uh, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident with this stuff. And, and I know how incredibly strong it is. And in some cases, uh, stronger, stronger than the wood itself, especially when using Bondo this way. But you'll see here that I'm packing it as tightly into these uh, holes as I can get it, cavernous uh, areas of the boat. And I just use a piece of uh, paper and I make this uh, clamping apparatus, which essentially pulls all three pieces together, the in whale, the gunnel, and the fiberglass hull. And I would clamp these right where the gunnel, uh, no, sorry, the rivet is, right? So the top part of the clamp is pushing against the rivet, sandwiching all three together, and that block of wood is forcing the Bondo into the cave, <laughs> the cavern. Um, so it actually works out pretty well. So I spent an enormous amount of time, uh, and you can tell by the number of clamps and the patches of Bondo you can see there, how much was needed. That's a lot. Pretty much every rivet was just, the wood around the gunnel was just absolutely just evaporated. <laughs> just, you touched it and it fell off. Um, 
So yeah, so so you're wondering why it takes so long to make these videos, because I mess it up, and then I have to go back and realize that I, I should have done it differently, um, and that's why it takes so long. But here, see, it's pretty strong. These things are, it's, it, it ended up being pretty strong. Um, but you know, it's one of those things, whenever you're working on a project, and there's no instructions here. That's how big the gaps were, mostly, all the way around, so you can see how my logic uh, ended up uh, bringing me to this uh, first solution, plan A. Um, but yeah, I think that the, the overall goal here is to make it uh, as strong as possible. And we had our inspector on duty. Um, I think, uh, you know, she was trying to tell me this is not right. So here we have essentially, which is like an outer gunnel. I'm not sure what it's like a wing. There's one on each side, and this goes outside of the gunnel. Um, here, again, there's a bolt that went through, and it just disintegrated when I took it off. Um, but I'm going to try and save these also, so I'm going to try and clean them up, and, uh, and I'm going to end up putting it back together. Um, again, I'm just really trying to save as many original pieces as possible. And those uh, parts where it really didn't come together, I ended up using some Gorilla Glue and patching it all up. And um, and, it, and it's one of those things, you know? Technically, I guess it looked right. Uh, you know, I'm going to put this wing. I don't know what's... What is this thing called? <laughs> I don't know. This outer part of the boat. Um, uh, yeah. So I ended up putting that back together, and this piece just needed to be redone. So I cut that piece out and I ended up replacing it and I still, you know, something in the back of my head kept saying, you know, it just doesn't seem quite right. Anyway, so here I'm just kind of resting the seat on there. So you can see how the seat overlaps all of those three layers. Um, so I can really picture how it's going to look. Uh, and I said, you know, this is not so bad, you know, but there was a little there's a little voice in the back of my head that kept saying, you know, this doesn't seem quite right. Uh, and technically it's all together. There's my patch there for that wing. I don't know what the hell that thing is called. You probably know. And then I took a month off because something wasn't sitting right with me. And I said, you know what? This needs to be redone. So here on the, on the port side, um, I ended up uh, just cutting a huge piece of this off because it was, even though I had patched it, it was so bad. And if you see here, see those deep pits right there? See that in that ledge? Oh, it's going to take us on a journey. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to go on a whole journey about, about this ledge. Um, you know, it's the funny thing is, as soon as I cut this piece off and got this kind of cross section, it became so obvious how rotten the gunnels were. And again, I just said, you know what? You know, don't overthink it, Olivia. You know, it's not that bad. Uh, obviously, that piece is so was so deteriorated. <laughs> it looks so bad. And I had done so much work up until this point. And then, you know, you just sometimes get to a point in your life where you just have to stop and say, oh, hell no. Oh, we're going to do this the right way. Inspector agrees. Slight disappointment on that face. I'll be honest. I think that she's really thinking, uh, you need to rip it off. So that's what I did. I ripped the whole <laughs> port side off. And you can really see how bad it is. See this? See that glue? Hardly kept it on. It, I mean, that glue I added hardly did anything. See that white, white stuff? That's some old glue. I don't know what kind of glue they originally used, but it wasn't holding on anymore. So this pile, so these are all of the segments of the original gunnel I took off. And you know... One thing you cannot tell in this video is these smell so bad. It almost smells like a box of mushrooms. <laughs> the smell is so disgusting. It's just a combination of just dusty dry rot 
old metal and mushroom mildew mold, old dead mold. It smelled so bad. And you can see how bad these were. And I'm, I'm so glad that I cut them off and now we're on the now now we're on the right track. So uh, so the breast hook has to come out um, because there's rivets that butt up against it. And this uh, breast hook is not in bad condition. There's some checking that I'll have to fix, but overall uh, not so bad. Um, so I think in general, uh, hacking off the gunnels was <laughs> the right thing to do. And uh, here we really see how deep the problems ran in this both sides of the boat were equally bad that pitting was so you know you can't tell with this dirt and dust but that pitting was essentially the and see there see that the entire length of the boat i'd say 80 percent of both sides needed to be patched so i'm glad i ended up uh, taking it off i think a little birdie um told me it was the right thing to do. That's why sometimes, you know, you just gotta go slow with these projects. You don't wanna get the whole boat done in two months because you'll think, you know what, I should have done that differently. So here uh, we're taking off the old rivets and they come out pretty easily. Uh, they actually are in there pretty, pretty good. So it took a little bit of effort to end up getting them out, but um, ended up getting them out and, and really that this is where the, the tough work starts because um, it's not so much taking out those rivets, right? These, uh, the lodging knees had to be taken out as well because you can see that aftmost rivet is underneath the lodging knee. And the lodging knees are actually in really great condition on both sides because they are so far out of the water and protected under the deck. So those were great. Um, and here you can see the in whales are not in poor, not in too, too bad of condition. So here's our new gunnel. But here we can start to see how many pits there are. So I'm going to dremel them out. This is essentially, you know, I've always wanted to be a dentist when I was a kid. So here was my chance. And the minute you touch this ledge, I don't know what the ledge is called, but the minute you touch the ledge with the dremel, look at how much just flakes off because it's the cracking in the fiberglass is so deep um, and there's so much dirt <laughs> there and it really is a cavity. I mean, you only see a little pit of the top of the cave, but it goes deep, right? And so I really had to end up cutting all of this out and uh, you'll see later in the video just how much needed to be patched Again, this is a good example here. You just saw that little piece, which may be a quarter inch, but look how much I actually had to end up taking out to actually clear it so that it was uh, ready to be patched. It was quite a lot of work. And it wasn't just that ledge, it was this uh, piece here between this fiberglass hall, between the uh, in whale and the gunnel. There were some really old uh, nails or something, um, screws. So these were taken out as well. Um, and all of these were patched. The only holes that I left were the original um, rivet holes. So yeah, she, I mean, she's gonna be strong now. I mean, this is uh, quite a bit of destruction I'm, I'm causing, which is fine. It's for the good of the boat. So I'm going to mix up some epoxy and that milled glass fiber. Uh, so here's the first pass at patching all of those holes. And you can start to see, um, you know, recreating this lip so that it's very strong. Uh, took quite a lot of time um, and it was very dusty and messy um, and I essentially had to wear a whole spacesuit to do this, but, but you can really see you know how much it was needed and and this is my favorite part <laughs> so ended up epoxying the gunnels sanding them down and epoxying them as well to make them as strong as possible and look at how shiny can't you just picture it she's gonna be so beautiful as beauty queen of a boat she's gonna be so beautiful 
And this is really the first time in working on the boat that I start to see how it's really paying off to come together to make her a beautiful boat again. And uh, I'm really excited about it. Here's our new gunnel. It's looking strong and mighty fine. Uh, we're going to plane it down and, and get the profile back. I ended up uh, ordering new um, fasteners from Fairwind Fasteners that are a great group of people. I highly uh, recommend them. I got some silicon bronze to replace all of the rivets. Um, the rivets just weren't holding on and I had to get a large enough washer because the holes on the in whale were getting um, kind of pitted out. So here I ended up uh, replacing those. I ended up replacing uh, that wing <laughs> on both sides. I don't know what it's called. Um, yeah. Wow. i tell you what. Wow is this strong. So, all right. Let's go on to the, uh, let's go on to the starboard side. So I wanted to show this to you. So this is really how, even though I had done all of look at how easy it just comes off <laughs> you know it just it's a, the moments like this that i knew that i made the right decision here you can see how deep the bondo got in but it couldn't get all the way in it was too rotten on the inside and way too deep um yeah that's not good <laughs> Yes, you're right. That came off way too easily. I agree. <laughs> this is really bad. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get the in whale attached to the hull first. And I just want to point out how many pits. So each of these white spots are uh, fiberglass holes that needed to be patched. There's a lot. And right here is a great example of how deep, not only top down, but uh, the side had to be patched as well. The light just passes right through it. Um, let's go ahead and get the starboard side finished up. So the gunnel went on, did quite a bit of shaping, and it's time to put on those uh, silicon bronze bolts, and they're quite beautiful. I'm gonna start by lining up the original rivet holes and dr drilling those through the gunnel and uh, putting the bolts through. And you can see here, uh, you can't see in this picture, but um, there's wide enough washers to span any uh, gap that might have been caused uh, by racking in the past. Um, uh, very snug, very secure, and extremely strong. I'm gonna need to add some bung holes to really finish this off. <laughs> Well, that's it guys. That's the end of the video. You know, I do want to call out all of the amazing viewer comments. Thank you guys so much, but I want to ask you for a very specific assignment. I want you to post a comment to say when was the last year you think she sailed? So when were those sales up last? I'll give you a minute. Yeah, I'm curious myself. I don't know when was the last time she was in the water. It's obviously been quite a long time. But I wanna thank you all so much for following the journey of this boat rebuild. And I guess for following me, I'm flattered. <laughs> I don't know why anybody would wanna watch this, but you know, it's really fun making it. And you know, I love working on a boat, so I'm having a great time. Um, thank you all again and i wish you all the best and we'll see you soon fair winds and following sea sailors bye